Hey guys, you with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to review the Mares Equator Dive Slipper that we've got available on our website. This is a super popular selling item. We sell loads and loads and loads of them because they're just really awesome because every single diver needs them. Whether you've got long boots already, a little short ankle boot is always ideal. Just going to move the one out the way and then uh, we'll go through the benefits and the features of the dive boot itself and then uh, we can just review it all one more time. So this is a two millimeter dive slipper or ankle boot. So it's two mils the whole way around. It's double stitched and folded over neoprene at the top to make sure it's got lots of durability over the top section and it's got a soft rubber sole. So they've got uh, a grooved section on the heel and the forefoot and then a really soft section across the arch of your foot there, making this a really, really comfortable um, dive boot, dive slipper to walk around in. It's got a little lip which comes over the top of your, your toe over there to give extra grip. So if you are walking around on boats, it displaces a lot of water, gives you a lot of grip as well is for walking on beaches. So if you're out in Zanzibar, Mauritius, any of those areas where you've got to walk along beaches to get out to the boats, um, sometimes over coral and sea urchins, etc., this goes a long way to protecting your feet. And it's an ideal beach walker as well, so good for snorkelers too. One thing I really like about this uh, dive slipper is it doesn't smell after a day of walking around in it. I know you get the cheap knockoff ones, you wear them one day on the beach, you get a bit of seawater in them, by that afternoon it smells like something died in the fridge. Whereas these are much better at handling that because it's hyperallergenic neoprene. However, I always recommend after a day of diving and or walking around on the beach, if you do pick up any marine debris in the in the boot itself, it's always got to do to rinse them out. Top tip from me is whenever we're away on tour, is that I bring them into the shower with me. I literally just rinse them out in the shower, use a bit of shampoo. As the shampoo comes off my hair, just rub it around the inside, rinse it out, and then put it outside my uh, on my deck to dry, um, which is a really great because the next morning they're all good to, to go again. It's got a padded heel section around the, the back over here with the little lip so the grooved section um, on the on the, the from the bottom of it curves up and over the top and that just works as a stopper to stop your fin strap from sliding down which I think is really really great and it's quite a soft boots as well so it's really comfortable ergonomic to wear and it comes in various different sizes um, these ones are European size shoes so whatever size tacky and or trainer or running shoe you wear you would match that up to this to the same size boot it's always better if it's slightly loose you don't want it to be too tight that your toes driving right up against the the edge over there um, slightly loose is good because when you're diving around you know you just want it to be nice and comfy but it obviously comes in a left foot and a right foot and a right foot and a left foot you're going to make sure you put them on the right feet because these are not omnifootical it's a left and a right foot that you've that you've got there um, so there's my review of the Mares Equator Dive Slipper it's a two millimeter ideal for tropical and warm environments as well as a beach walker and holiday shoe I think this is a really really great thing from Mares as I said we sell loads like hundreds of them going out of the the, the, dive, the dive shop and uh, website on an ongoing basis so uh, there's that review so if you guys are enjoying the product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. No, I really mean it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel because uh, we'll keep you up to date with all the cool product reviews that we've got going on. The more subscribers we have, the more videos we'll do. We need those subscribers. So subscribe down that little section over there on the, the video, please. Uh, you can also go check out our social streams, main one being facebook.com forward slash scuba.co.za. And we've also got Instagram and Twitter and all the rest. We keep you up to date with all the funky things that we've uh, got going on on an ongoing basis. So that's it from me guys, and I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.